Vision is dependent upon light causing the reactions necessary to stimulate photoreceptors. So the only thing we actually see is the light reflecting off of or being emitted from objects. We don't actually see the objects themselves. Turn off the lights and we see nothing, even though the objects remain in the room. The visual process begins when these light rays enter the eye via the pupil. They focus on the retina and produce a tiny inverted image. Since the light travels in straight lines, the ones entering the superior part of the pupil strike the inferior retina, and vice versa. Those entering the medial pupil strike the lateral retina, and vice versa. So the image that is projected onto our retina is inverted and a mirror image of the object the light is reflected from. Light travels at different speeds through different materials. This causes light rays to refract, or bend. It's why a pencil looks broken when it stands in a glass of water. The pencil's not actually broken, the light rays reflected from it are bent. As light enters the eye, the cornea and the lens refract the light rays the most. Most refraction actually takes place through the cornea. The lens merely fine-tunes the image, especially as you shift your focus from near objects and distant objects. The goal of this refraction is to get the light rays from the object you're looking at to strike the retina at the fovea centralis. This is the area with the highest concentration of photoreceptors, so it will generate the clearest image. Focusing on distant objects doesn't take a lot of refraction. The light rays tend to travel straight through the center of the cornea. The circular ciliary muscles attached to the lens can remain relaxed, which keeps the hole in the muscle wide open. This means the lens is pulled flat and tight by the suspensory ligaments. The flatter the lens is, the less it bends the light. However, light rays from images closer than 6 meters are too divergent to easily focus on the fovea. So the ciliary muscles must contract. This releases tension on the lens and allows it to recoil to its resting shape. This maximizes its ability to bend light. We call this accommodation. 